Did you know the Insta 361 r has its own hero mode? How do you access the playback menu when it's blocked by your 1 inch mod or your lens guards? How about an accessory that lets you have a front screen and a rear screen at the same time? In this video, we're going to talk about 15 tips for the Insta 361 r You're watching 360 Rumors, the resource that 360 shooters trust for in-depth reviews and innovative techniques. When you're shooting with the 360 mod, you can switch your view between the front lens and the rear lens by double tapping on the screen. You can even do this while recording. With the 4K mod and the 1 inch mod, you can double tap on the screen to zoom in. Here's a faster way for reviewing your videos and photos on your camera. When you're in the playback screen, you can tap on the upper left corner to review four photos and videos at the same time and you can delete more than one file at the same time just tap on that check mark and then tap on the files that you want to delete you can even scroll down to the next page and continue making selections then press delete do you want to record vertical videos for social media here's how when you're looking at the screen and you tap on the bottom right corner, you look at the different aspect ratios and you'll see that they're all horizontal. There's like 16 by 9 and 4 by 3. But the Insta 361R can actually record vertical videos. It's really easy. You don't have to do anything special. All you need to do is turn the camera this way or this way and begin recording. Thanks to the Insta 361R's stabilization, the camera recognizes that you're recording a vertical video. Have you noticed that when you're using the one inch mod or the lens guards for the 360 mod, part of the screen gets blocked? Here's how to fix that. So from the main screen, swipe down to reveal the settings. Then look for the setting for auto orientation. So it's this one. So I'm going to make sure that it's on. So now that it's on, you want to go back to the main screen. Now let's say you want to access the playback menu. Now, I, right now it's blocked by the lens. So all you have to do is turn the camera this way. Now you can swipe right to reveal the playback screen. You can turn the camera in any direction depending on which menu you want to access. For other amazing tips you won't find on any other channel, hit subscribe. Here's a faster way to adjust your settings. So let's say I want to adjust the shutter speed. And right now I'm at 1 over 30th and it's obviously overexposed. And I don't want to have to swipe uh, one third stop at a time. Here's a faster way to move between the options. Look at the right side of the screen. You'll see a tiny arrow. You could drag that up and down to move quickly between the options. All right, I'm almost out of battery. Here's the tip for extending your battery life. From the main screen, swipe down to reveal the settings. Then tap on that sun icon to adjust the screen brightness. Decrease the brightness to the minimum. This can extend your battery life in an emergency. When you're reviewing your videos on the app, is there a way to tell which videos were shot with the 360 mod and which ones were shot with the 4K mod? Absolutely. It's really easy. All right, so when you're reviewing videos on your app, look at the thumbnail. If the thumbnail is just a plain square like this one, that means it was shot with a 4K mod. If it's a square but there's a circle inscribed in it, then that means it was shot with the 360 mod. And this one, it's a square but there's a rectangular icon on the upper left corner. That one was shot with the one inch mod. All right, so this next tip is one of my favorites. Now, did you know that you can create cool camera moves without keyframing? Here, I'm gonna show you how. So the secret is to use direction lock, but this isn't the same direction lock that you've known from the Insta361X. This one is a little bit different. So with direction lock, you treat the LCD screen as the front of the camera. So the difference is that this time, you can now aim up or down. So you have better control of camera movement.
So which tips have been most helpful to you? Let me know in the comments so I can give you more tips like that. Using this new direction lock is really easy. Use the mobile app, tap on the upper right corner, and select direction lock. That's all. With the new direction lock, you'll be able to control your camera movements without keyframing. So it's a lot more convenient. Now if you're thinking that this is a lot like the GoPro Max Hero Mode, then you're right. But this goes one better. Because with GoPro Max Hero Mode, you're using only one lens at a time. So the stabilization is not as good as the 360 mode. Not only that, but you'll have the flexibility of uh, reframing or keyframing it however you like. If you happen to want to switch point of view at any point in time, you can do that. Whereas with the Max Hero Mode, you're locked onto one direction forever. So Direction Lock gives you the convenience of Hero Mode, but the flexibility of 360 mode. Hey, if you found these tips helpful and you want to buy an Insta360 One R, I'd really appreciate it if you use the links in the description below. It will help me do more videos like these. Here's a tip to help you get the invisible flying camera effect. Now, you've probably heard that when you're shooting with the 360 mod, you need to keep the camera in line with the selfie stick. But is there an easy way to do that? Absolutely. So there are actually two types of tripod adapters. So this one's the regular tripod adapter. So you can see that it can swivel. For a 360 mod, you should instead use the invisible stick adapter. So this one has a special notch in it that prevents it from swiveling. That way, the camera will stay in line with your selfie stick all the time. So here's a tip for using the Insta360 ONE R with the helmet. Don't shoot upright like this because the stitch line will break it up. Instead, rotate it this way, swivel it this way, where the stitch line is away from the helmet. You can get an even better result if you use an extension arm like this. Have you ever had your 1R video cut short? So one time, I was walking up this really long flight of stairs. It was like a lot of effort, but I thought the footage would look really cool. But then when I got home, I saw that the video was only like 5 seconds long. What happened? Here's what seems to be going on. The 1R's voice command is too sensitive. It has a lot of false positives. So when you're in a crowded area, make sure to turn off the voice command so that the 1R does not inadvertently stop recording. Are you planning to shoot in low light? There are several things that you can do to improve your image quality. When you're shooting a video, make sure to turn indoor low light stabilization on. On the bottom right corner, tap on that um, resolution setting and make sure you have that check mark there for indoor stabilization. So what that does is it increases the shutter speed so that there's less motion blur. For photos, the best thing you can do is use the night view mode. So what that does is it takes a burst of nine photos and then averages the noise so that it can remove them and you'll end up with a really clean image. It's one of the exposure modes. Just tap on uh, the bottom left corner, um, look for photo and it's one of the modes for photo and here it is the night view mode is available for all mods 360 4k and one inch you can use the night view mode even in daylight if you'd like now one drawback with the night view mode is that it takes a long time to take the photo maybe like 30 seconds or something if you don't have time for that at least use raw here's how um, from this screen swipe uh, left to reveal the exposure settings and move down and tap on that file the, the file icon and then tap on that format 
to choose a JPEG plus RAW. RAW files have more dynamic range. Um, you have a lot more latitude for exposure adjustments and um, color temperature adju adjustments. And uh, sometimes they can also be a little bit sharper than the JPEG version. Have you ever had a hard time connecting your Insta 361R to your app? Here's how to fix that. So I tap on that, tap on connect now. I can't find the camera. So try this. Go to the main screen, go to your settings, go to your Wi-Fi. Look for the uh, one hour Wi-Fi signal. Select that. Go back to the app and try it again. Now you can find it and join the network and we should be connected. There we go. Have you ever wished that the One R had a screen on both sides? Right now, for example, if I wanted to take a selfie video, then the screen's facing away from me. Well, believe it or not, there's an accessory that can do just that. So the way it works is you have your screen facing the rear like this and then you attach a mirror and the mirror reflects the screen forward toward you and that way it acts like a front facing screen. So it's waterproof, it doesn't use up any battery, there's no lag time uh, and it's really inexpensive. I haven't tried this accessory but I've ordered it so don't miss my review so hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Here's a tip for changing your modules smoothly. The key to switching modules quickly is to do it the same way each time. When I'm switching modules, I always do it with the power button on the bottom. That way I don't get confused. With the power button on the bottom, I pull down on the lock. While I'm pulling down on the lock, my thumb is already positioned to open the clasp. When I open the frame, I use my pinky to hook the frame. This leaves me free to handle the camera without dropping the bracket. I remove the battery and keep it in my right hand. I detach the core and keep the core in my left hand. I use the lens pouch to carry my mods. It acts like an extra hand and helps me to exchange mods. When I'm attaching the 360 mod, I make sure that the labels are on the same side. Then I replace the battery. I put the camera back in the bracket and close the bracket. Final tip. How do you open that bleepin' box? Here's how. So what you need is tape. We're gonna create handles. Okay. Okay. Stick it to the other side. And this one will remain outside the box. When we close the box, we just pull the sides, the tape. Voila. Oh, there's something I want to check in the manual, but it's in the box. Oh, no problem. It's so easy. Oh, wait, I forgot to look at the warranty. Did you want to look at the warranty too? It's right here in the box. For more 360 camera tips and techniques, hit subscribe and I'll see you in 360.